Hi, this is John Storms, and this is an add-on video to the last video, except this time we're going to show how we can use F-Test to help us uh, see what's going on. But before we get into it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, give the video a like. That really helps the algorithm so people can find it. So here we, again, just set up for a recap, here we have our F48 V4, right? And we are using this to drive three receivers across two boards. So in this case, we have the Ethernet cable coming in from our computer, okay? Then we have plugged into ports one through four, this hole right here. We run this into our F-Test box, right? This is available from a Pixel Controller. It's like a Pixel Tricoder, okay? So here, we have plugged in to SRN, Smart Receiver In, that line from the board. Now, I could stick it in between. I could put this anywhere in the chain of a Smart Receivers, but I'm putting it right here at the beginning, okay? Now, you'll also notice I have Pixel In coming. So I have this... Um, what we call it, connect X cable, and I have it running back to one of the pixel ports where I'm getting power. So that's giving this guy his power is over that pixel connection. Then I have a Cat5 cable leaving the F-Test box and going to our first receiver board, which is a Falcon controller SR, um, SRX1. And that little dial is configured to A, and then we have pixels off of him, and then he has daisy chained off of him to the next receiver which is a srx2 long range receiver board which basically means it has two receivers on one board so this one the first one set to a this second one the the dial which is under the cables right there is set to b and and it consumes two so it contain consumes b and c right but what i want to do and we did this in the last video. We're going to power this up. Here it comes. Falcon Christmas. It was blocked by the cable. It doesn't count. Uh, we're going to show how the receiver board works in all of this. Okay. And so here it's come up. And I'm going to say where I'm coming in from. I don't want pixel in because I'm just getting power through that. So I'm going to go down. Smart receiver in. I'm going to select that. Okay. And now I'm looking at the brand. So I'm going to say Falcon V4. And then I can look at whichever receiver. So if I go down here, whoops, whoops, up next, I am looking at receiver A. All right. So now go over to this guy. Oh, no. My F test fell. It's bad luck. Okay. Come back here. And get a Sharpie because my little piggies are too fat. And I'm going to go down to test. Select. And yeah, what does it say? Off. I'm going to go down. Down. Alternate's good. Select. Okay, so I am in alternate test mode. Now, I come over here, and first of all, ta-da, glory, the pixels are doing their alternate test pattern off of the three receivers. This board has one receiver, this board has two receivers, and I'm covering up the lens with my finger. Okay, now I come back to the F test, and I am looking at receiver A, and I can actually see that alternating pattern going through the four ports. So I can see port one, two, three, and four. And it shows me that there's 200 pixels each. And it shows me the pattern that is going across each one. Right? Now I could click down. And this is B, which just happens to be the exact same thing. But let me change the test pattern. I apologize that this is upside down, but you know, you guys are all smart because you're watching my videos, so you'll get this. <clears throat> so I switch it to RGB. So I switch it to RGB, and you can see the colors are changing. So if you're in doubt, you can look at your little F-test box, you look at your lights, and if they're not doing the same thing, then that might help give you a clue to a problem. So again, it's another use of the uh, the F-Test box. Now, the other thing I could do 
is I could use the FTS box to drive all of this. Okay, so let me go back to here. Again, I apologize if it's upside down. You know, sometimes you just, you know, I was inverted. All right, testing is off. So I come back to my little F test box. Click on close. Now I go down to smart receiver out. Select. Okay. And then what kind of brand? This is Falcon V4. Next. Receiver. All. Okay. Next. Pattern. RGB, RGB white, okay? And the brightness of 30%. And if I look, it's driving it. See? Although, it's doing something weird. Huh, that is strange. I look at the board, you see the four little lights in the row there that tells me it's getting data, and then it's not. Huh. That is bizarre. So maybe that feature doesn't work so hot. Anyway, um, so mileage may vary. Huh, I might have to file a bug report on F-Test for that because when I do this through the board, it, uh, it certainly works. Anyway, but you get the general idea. So it works sometimes, not others. Huh. Go figure. Okay. Well, uh, it looks like we got a bug on F-Test. Maybe. I might have to play with it. Could be operator error too. But anyway, it is still useful for troubleshooting things, although mileage may vary. Okay, well, so much for that video.